I'm going for my friend's wedding and it's in Jebata and I miss I'll be life. the last one left when the lights go out I'm slide So cross my heart and hope to die Baby, now I was born to Hey guys and welcome back to my channel so i've got a new camera and i'm trying to test out the gear how you guys doing so this is your first time of seeing this beautiful face please don't make it your last well clicking on the subscribe button it's kelechi here and i'm going for my friend's wedding i've actually cried before <laughs> recording this video i missed my flight and i'm heading to london to get on another flight the things that you do for people i hope they realize it I'm just going to get my ticket I don't really know how the audio sounds like so when I get to Jibata I'll be able to find out what it sounds like figure out how to record with this to be fair it's actually not so bad it does seem like you're talking to yourself well, you're not talking to yourself if you get what I mean. So I do like it. I rushed out of the house this morning, but anyway, this is what I'm wearing. This is my jacket and the cap. I've been wearing caps all throughout summer, guys. I don't even know, but my mom came for my wedding and she took this my really nice bag. So right now I don't have bag. I got this one from Mango and I've been using it so I think it's quite handy. Jacket, it's very handy. I'm sorry if, if I keep saying um, um just know that I'm still trying to get out of being shy walking in public and also the fact that I've had a lot happen to me in the past couple of days plus this flight missing. So yeah, I wanted to get consistent on this channel because I don't have any choice. If I really want to put myself out there, I need to be out there if you get what I mean. I hope that I get my excitement. I hope I get my excitement on because I'm going for somebody's wedding and I need to be hyped up. But when I think about all I've spent so far, I'm just a bit <laughs> concerned. I'm just grateful for the person I am with because I did miss that flight. I was thinking that he was going to tell me, Oh, you missed your flight. But he was really calm about it. And he just told me that you missed your flight. What can you do about it? Oh, talk about the girl who's texting me. Let me respond to my husband. For the past three days, I've been working. I've been working back to back to back. And it's been really stressful. The last shift that I did, I had to tell them to let me go home on time because I was mad stressed out like really stressed out i go to work i did a chest compression like, and my whole body was paining me it was really traumatizing to see if you have someone beside you or if you know that you have heart problems having someone who can do a life skill such as chest compression or cpr on you it's the most <coughs> amazing life skill you can have to save someone's life so i did that on wednesday and i was really stressed out like mad stressed out i worked monday tuesday wednesday thursday i had to get my passport so that i'll be able to make this trip on friday i had to make my hair but this hair the hair behind this is <laughs> that's not good there but um, i saw this very funny hair on tiktok and i wanted to try out the hair you know this hair that you it's a wig but it's not a full wig so you put the hair and then bring out your hair in front i'll show you guys what i mean when i start to dress up tomorrow but that's what i thought about doing because i live here it's difficult to get a hair salon that can make your hair properly because sometimes like you just don't find people who are live close by you have to go all the way to london to get like a proper hair salon and they're ridiculously expensive sometimes i indulge and i actually make my hair in a salon but other times i don't bother to because what am i going to gain from it if you get, get what i mean so i'm just like why would i need to spend that amount of money 
but this morning i actually planned to make my hair but it didn't work out and i just like why would i want to make i would want to go through that stress and i didn't have time to have any other alternative so this was like the most convenient one and i was like hmm okay let's let's try it i've done something like that before two years ago in november and the hair was really good so i hope that for this wedding it's going to end up looking really nice and yep yeah, i think i like this camera i really do because the quality that i'm noticing from this camera is great yeah i think it's worth the hype I think that's what the hype and I'm not shy guys I've been talking for at least six minutes from the timer and I'm not shy that someone is looking at me okay guys talk to you guys when I get to the airport my loves Security checkpoint 
thank God I didn't miss my flight because if I had missed the second flight, I would have just gone back home and eaten a bar and just leave it. So, I just hope this mic is working. I think it is. Anyway, I'm waiting for my flight. Is at 4.25 and I'm very close to my boarding gate so that I don't have any stories that touch the heart. But everything went really well. Uh, it's my first time of being at London Gatwick Airport. So, it's not too bad actually. Maybe I should come out more. I just find that Manchester is very convenient for me. But I think the flights from Manchester is pretty much expensive. But and what I'm going to try to do is to calculate how much it will cost me to fly from Gatwick. I mean, Gatwick flights are much cheaper, but the cost of entering trains and going through the tube to Gatwick Airport is what is a little bit difficult for me. But I mean, if it's cheaper and if I calculate the expense between going from Manchester or going from Gatwick and it's just less than hundred pounds then why wouldn't I just do it? I mean I can just easily book my train ticket to get to Mac to London and then fly from there. But yeah, I am learning how to become a shy free content creator. If you watched to this part of the vlog please like, please share, please subscribe. I'm going for my friend's wedding and it's in Jebata and I missed my flight so if you want to find out how the wedding um, turned out and how I'm feeling I'm feeling like crap I've spent a lot of money but at the end of the day is what you do for people you care about so I might as well just make the most out of it which is vlogging as I'm vlogging now this is the first time I'm ever vlogging in a public space this camera I would say is very um, I think it's not so obvious, so I like it. I'm very much confident to bring out this camera out in public than when I had that really big one and everybody know that, oh, you're vlogging. But this one, I hope the mic is picking up the sound. And yeah, I'm, I'm doing the damn thing. I'm vlogging. I'm hitting procrastination. The next thing I need to do is to learn how to start editing as soon as possible. But yeah, I'm going to have fun. I said that before, I intend to have lots of fun. I've been stressed out for this past couple of days. Yesterday I went to Manchester to get my passport because apparently you can't go to Jebata, Gibraltar yeah, without a passport. Now Gibraltar is still in the UK, but it's like an island like outskirts of the UK. So if you've got a BRP, you can still get to Gibraltar without needing a visa. It's very close to Spain and I think the place is a nice holiday destination is not so populated like Montenegro and Albania that everybody goes to shade to Nigerians so you can go there if you want a holiday destination I think there are very few flights that go to Gibraltar so yeah I've been saying so 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 since this beginning of this vlog but I don't care subscribe join the family guys let's get to a thousand and subscribers i'm at 9 47 and i hope by the time this video is released i hit the 1000 mark and also my watch time increases okay see you guys at the wedding all right bye to start the oxygen put the mask over your nose and mouth So we're here for Anne, Ihejeto, getting married. We're here to rep her destination wedding. Oh, for oh my God, it's actually a very nice place to be. This is a holiday spot, a hidden holiday spot. What are the I've had a very bad day. Hello, my dear. Hello. 
makeup artist, I'm about yourself. I'm signature, uh -huh. I'm visual, I'm makeup artist, photographer, mm -hmm. yeah, anything you want. I'm a glamour, just glamour visuals. Okay. I'm into makeup and styling, I'm, like, I'm the pro uh, professional for the, uh, photographer for the day. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where is her dress now? I don't know why I'm spotting for some reason, but it's the D day, the morning of the wedding, and I'm supposed to get dressed to meet the makeup artist. I didn't even plan to see it. Oh shit! Oh my god! Stop! Stop! I don't want to see that. Don't see that. So I'm supposed to get dressed to see the makeup artist this morning. It's just 4.30. The things that we do during this bridal morning, it's ridiculous, but I'm awake and I'm going to get dressed to go to the makeup artist room. It was a beautiful day yesterday. I didn't really vlog so much because I also wanted to live in the present. The surprise bridal shower happened and she loved it and that's the most important thing is being present when you are supposed to be for the people that you love. Um, I know how weddings can be. People forget that there's a wedding stress, especially for the bride and she probably will not be thinking about oh how am I supposed to do a bridal shower and all of that. It's very stressful. Nobody talks about the wedding stress and the tension that comes with back and forth with vendors, venues and the emotions that come along with it, both family as well. So having people that will turn up for you and surprise you in a good way is the best thing that can happen to you. And also, let me just talk about this. The people that will arrest VP and say that they are coming for an event and they don't end up showing up side eye to you because that's not the nice thing to do. Why would you say you're coming for someone's wedding and you don't turn up? Like, why would you not turn up? It's just the worst. Like, if you say you're coming for someone's wedding, you should be coming for the person's wedding, especially if you've been given an invite six months, three months, four months. I think the maximum time, you know, to send out an invite maybe is in, in four to five months so that people can financially plan towards the trip. 
I see the vibe with destination weddings. I really like it, but it was expensive to get here. And it's very expensive to come for a destination wedding on the part of the guest and I don't know how much the couple have invested into it as well so mm, I don't know if that would anyway let's leave that part I need to have my bath look at my nails look at my clip on nails I think they look really pretty anyway I'm loving this camera by the way I have a very beautiful dress I'm going to wear and I'll be hanging in it. This camera, I plan to return it at first, but I think I'm not going to return it. I'm going to keep this camera because it's really good. And he follows me everywhere. Look at Ooh, DJ Cosmo Pocket 3. You did the damn thing. I was so happy that when I was vlogging, nobody was looking at me. That was the part that I, I enjoyed most. Anyway, let me beat. I don't think the lights will be okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
and then they made it worse by the, them singing Christmas song. I said, I do things. Can I actually even try? You can move your body a bit. I dance like I dance a lot when I'm very when I'm tipsy and when yeah. I'm with friends. I was not in the mood actually, so I was I was matching his. His energy. I don't need to dance. Like, I, I, I don't need to do too much. <laughs> yeah, I don't dance. That's why people see me on TV dancing. I can actually dance. <laughs> you can dance. I can try a little. <laughs> This is a very nice view, honestly. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Looking like Monaco, like no project Monaco. Is the fact he said no project Monaco for me? <laughs> Energy to dance like this now. Yeah, because you have to know what to see. Yes. I mean, that Monday that they will be coming back. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm at work. Like Hey guys, good morning. So this is another day. My name is Ola and we are going back to back to We're trying to head out. Our flight is by 11 and this is 9 o'clock and we are planning to go by we I mean myself and the people who came for the wedding. We're going back to the UK. Um, everything went well. We thank God for His mercies. We thank God for His grace over their lives. We're going back this Sunday. I have work tomorrow, so you can see that it is not it's not easy at all. It's a beautiful place, and I highly recommend this place for a holiday destination. We've got gold. We've got that zipline stuff. So I will come back here with my husband. Fingers crossed. If I convince him, I would come back here with him. I'm sure that he's going to enjoy the plates. He's a hidden gem and he's very close to Spain. So if you get a Schengen visa, you can also enter Spain. But we didn't have any Schengen visa because our passport is not a British passport and we couldn't go into Spain. I think I need to use my microphone so that you can't hear the external voices at the background. Just hold on. Just ignore the voice at the background, but I'll highly recommend this place for a holiday destination. It's nice, it's um, very cozy. Someone said it's even low budget Spain. I agree, but it's very beautiful. It's really warm. This is September and it's so warm. If I, if I get back to the UK now, I'll be wearing heavy, a heavy duty jacket in the UK. So we didn't need to wear that here. So that shows you that it's having European warmth in September. So come to this place. The flights are really expensive and there are only two flights that leave the UK to Gibraltar. But let me close the door a bit because I think the voices here really interrupt the audio of this vlog but it's a beautiful place i highly recommend really warm they've got boats that you can go on boat cruise with so instead of nigerians focusing more on montenegro and albania you can come here the flights are though expensive like i went to london gatwick to get the flight when i missed my flight from manchester really missing my flight has given me ptsd honestly because felt really bad i didn't go for her court wedding so i was like okay i need to go for her white wedding or her church blessing and looking at flight by 6 15 was not the best thing to do because i was exhausted the day before i went to manchester to get my passport and when i came back i packed my things that day i had to do this small cornrows by the way guys my hair on instagram was clam i was looking like i'm going to share a video if i haven't already put that in this clip okay i'm ready to go bye guys